Okay, we want to perform a calculation of this nature, minus 2 minus 3 is equal to what we don't know without using calculator. Okay, so how can you perform this kind of calculation? We are going to use what we call number line. And this is an example of a number line. Okay, on your number line from the zero mark here, we have the number to this direction. They are positive numbers. Numbers to this direction, they are negative numbers. Okay, so now number line is applicable in performing calculation that involve either a subtraction, uh, subtraction or addition between the numbers. Okay, like minus and plus. Okay, we use number line to perform such kind of calculation. Now looking at minus 2, minus 3, how can we get our answer without calculator using the number line? Now, the first thing is that the first number we have here is minus 2. You now go to your number line and pick minus 2. This way, my minus 2 is. Now, the next thing is that you are going to move in one of the direction, either the negative side or the positive side. How can you know the direction you are to move to? You can know that direction using the sign behind the next number. So, the sign there is negative. What that simply means is that we are moving to the negative side. Now, having uh, known that we are going to move to the negative side, how many times? We are going to move three times. Okay? Where we stop, that is where our answer. So, we are going to move in this nature. Starting from minus two, we have one, two, three. So, we stop at minus 5. So, what that simply means is that minus 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 5. As simple as this. Okay. This principle is applicable to any calculation involving minus or plus in between the numbers. We are going to perform another example. 